Hello everyone. Today I'm going to review Energy's new Flex 1500 power station. I'm going to show you how I use it in my van and how it supplies all of my needs. And if you're considering getting one of these and you're electrically challenged like me, I'm going to say it's going to be a good purchase for you because it's so easy to put together, to use, and to hook up to all of your energy needs in your van. So let's get started with that review. So today is October 6th, and we're headed out today for a two-day boondocking trip with our new energy uh, power system. I got the Flex 1500, and I have 2,000-watt lithium batteries in the set. Um, right now, I'm getting 168 watts of solar coming in. And then my charge is 159 watts. And the difference of the 10 watts is this unit running and then my Dometic fridge, which is an CFX 28. Um, it uses about five watts on it when the compressor is not running. So um, this is looking really good. So I use those 5.5 by... 2.5 plugs. I bought some of my own. I'll link that in the description below. And I put those on the 12 gauge cable that I um, ran from my lights. Those are for my lights. And then this is for um, my two vent line fans. And this is for the refrigerator that's right above it. And then down on the AC area here, um, I have, this is an extension cord that goes to the back for my husband's CPAP machine. And we did a trial run and think that it uses about 100 watts when it's running. So uh, I'll report back on that if that's different. Then I have this uh, power cord and it just kind of loops around and it comes up. Oh, uh, before I leave this real quick, this uh, power uh, plug right here is a from an extension cord that comes from the back uh, where my um, electrical plug comes in. Okay, so here's how I power my van from outside. Um, I installed this NOCO plug and I did a video on this super easy you can just plug in any kind of extension cord there and then there's this nice little rubber gaskety thing and that's just an extension cord that comes in around here and that comes up and it gives power to this power strip and I have a light on there so that when that power strip is running there's a light running this is a um, extension cord to the front so i have shore power ac going in um, and this um, plug has come from the front and this provides um, power from my flex 1500 from the front so this is my husband's cpap machine goes just in this area so here i am standing across from the slider door and you see the energy on the floor those the two batteries are charging simultaneously. That's why that, those are blinking. And um, so then that one cord comes up here and this is that extension cord. So I have two AC plugs on here so I can run my Instapot or my teapot. And then there's also two USB ports. You know, so I just plug that into the front and used a couple of zip ties to put them in place. And that's pretty good for me. So I have like a nice place on my counter uh, that I can cook on or do whatever I need to on. Other, and I'll just give you a quick tour of those. Um, I have four of these in the van and they're marine puck lights and they work independently of each other. And they're also dimmable and they get brighter and they get dimmer. The longer you touch them, it does take a minute. And they have memory, there they go. Um, here is my vent, six inch vent line fan that's in front of the door and so that I can do cooking. Have another light here, another 
like right above me here. Turn that one on. Uh, this is the dining room light. This is where my uh, dining table will be. I also have uh, my Fantastic fan that's running on full. It's pulling out right now. Uh, new bedroom lights, and I really, really like them. They have first a USB cord uh, port here, um, and then they turn off. There is the night light, comes back on, and you can also dim it. Let's see. All right, that one got bright. And there we go. It takes a couple seconds. That is really super nice. Um, my setup here is um, a king size bed and I got the dinette um, cushion and the table out. And then, so uh, um, we sleep front to back. So we each have a little side table there with a light and a USB port. Okay, so this morning we are cooking up some bacon and eggs on the three in the three quart Instapot. Got that on saute. And we'll go down here real quick. And it's pulling about 469 watts. Well, there's a lot of reflection there. There we go. Um, and so that's the Instapot. It was, when it first started up, it was using about 600 watts. Uh, now it's kind of bouncing back and forth as it turns on and turns off between about 450 because there's the inverter is running and the station is running and my um, refrigerator above it is using about five watts. Sorry about that reflection. There we go. So we'll see about how long this takes and we can estimate how much energy we used. Okay, breakfast is done. Got bacon and eggs and uh, some cut up pear. And I'm just going to come over here and it's stuck pretty bad. I didn't have any uh, bacon grease to start this out with, but I did save a little bacon grease from that. And I'm going to let this run. It ran for 15 minutes to cook the food. And then I'm probably going to let it run for another about five minutes uh, to kind of boil this water and release the stuff that's stuck on the bottom. Um, so probably about 20 minutes all together. And it has popped back up to uh, 600 watts. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Everything's looking so delicious. Time to eat. Got the air conditioner running at 72 it's about 82 or 83 outside now and I come down here and it's mostly cloudy so we are just charging at 728 watts solar coming in is 100 runtime two hours and 48 minutes so here's something interesting we're getting zero watts of solar but we're still somehow charging at 115 watts and so I don't, I don't know how us amateurs are supposed to take this, except for it doesn't really look right to me. I just got back from an eight day boondocking trip and um, I wanted to just let you know how this performed after that eight day trip. Uh, it was absolutely amazing. I had no problem or no worries about my energy. Um, I had a two days that were uh, very cloudy and the um, the energy couldn't come back up to 100% because it was so cloudy. I think it got down to about 62% uh, one day. Um, but as soon as we got uh, some sun, it went right back up. I never went below, I think 62%. Now, when you have AGM batteries, you have to stop at 50%. Uh, the lithium batteries here, they, um, they, you can take these all the way down to, I think it's uh, 15 or 10 percent. So there's a lot more uh, energy that is available to me in this system. And uh, one thing when I first bought it was I was concerned if I didn't have enough energy, well, all I have to do is uh, lift up this top unit and add another battery and um, I'm good to go with another thousand watt hours of uh, energy. Um, my, when we took the two day trip, um, we got down to, my husband used his CPAP and we got down to I think 72% energy uh, of the batteries and um, 
you know, the, we, the next day the sun would come out and it zipped them right back up to 100%. Um, another thing that I really like about this energy system is um, we get down to like negative 35 in our area some winters and I just really like the thought of being able to pull this inside and store it in the house and then that also means that we have emergency energy um, in the house in case we lose power which we do almost every winter um, and then all I'd have to really do is just bring it back out here to the van and uh, you know plug it back into the so solar and charge it back up for the next day. Um, the quality on this unit is absolutely amazing when you touch it, when you feel it, when you push the buttons um, you just really know that you're looking at a quality product. Um, Energy has not, uh, this is not a sponsored video, uh, it's just something that I bought and I actually waited for uh, the Energy, my Energy unit for an entire year for it to come and that's how much I really wanted it. Um, and I was not disappointed. I plugged it in and I just plugged in the stuff in the front and bam, I'm good to go. Um, the Oh, there was one thing somebody um, mentioned to me while I was waiting for my system to come that some of the older energies um, had a problem with interfering with cell phones and I just wanted to let you know that I didn't seem to notice any problems. So in the van, sometimes you do have problems, especially when you're in the back um, or even here in the middle. You know, you're in a big metal box and you can't always get a signal out or something. But I didn't notice that the um, Flex 1500 interfered at all with my cell phone. I was even able to use some Wi-Fi um, while I was in the van the Wi-Fi was outside the van, so that, um, you know, that kind of said to me that isn't an issue with this particular unit. Um, I just, I really love it. I have, I plan on using it for a long, long while, and um, boy, I can't wait to get out and do some boondocking all across America, and uh, just really not having to worry about plugging in or being on grid for anything. Now, um, I know that in my video, uh, I showed that I was using my Instapot and I used uh, the air conditioner for a little while and um, you know that wouldn't be something that you could run overnight on this energy system it's just it's you know a, a heater uh, an electric heater or um, you know an air conditioner is just too much of an energy hog using they use like 750 watts uh, and it just it would drain the power too too far but you know you could plug them in in a pinch and uh, you know if you were getting off of a trail and you just needed to stay put for a little while you wanted to run the air conditioner for an hour and cool off you know this would be ideal for that you know I all I can say is that I really love my new flex 1500 and I plan on using it for a lot of years to come. And thank you for watching this review, and everybody have a wonderful day.